Good evening everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Um, first of all, apologies for the delay. I know it's not much, it's been six days since my last video. Sounds like a, <laughs> yeah, sounds like a confession, doesn't it, for going through a staged process. But um, it's been six days since my last video because um, the, uh, the Newton household was hit by a rather interesting uh, sickness bug which has laid everyone a little bit low, uh, so we're all now recovered and back on form, so I apologise, um, but yeah, we needed to get uh, rehydrated. I'll leave it at there, no more gory details, but I think you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so we're fine. So we're back on the kitchen table and hopefully we can crack on with some more videos this week. Before we go any further, as is traditional, of course, the beverage of choice this evening, because I'm fully fixed, is uh, this one here, this Areki, which is a 2011 Carmenere Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile. And is very like like most stuff out of Chile these days. It's very good indeed. So uh, uh, cheers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Very nice. Right today on the kitchen table, um, a quick tip that might save uh, some of you who have one of these, the H three three D, from a bit of grief and swearing and pain and other bits and pieces. Now it seems that a a small percentage of the gimbals kind of don't handle a firmware update very well and they kind of brick. They turn into a brick. They just are completely limp or unresponsive or start to go crazy and nuts and everything else. Now, uh, obviously if you send those in, they're under warranty, you send it into the, to the repair centre that's local to you and, and it'll be reset and that's fine, but obviously it it's a pain, it goes away for a period of weeks, and this is a nightmare. Now luckily, there is a reset procedure. You can basically factory reset your gimbal and start again at home. And you do it in a fairly straightforward way. But it's a little bit fiddly and requires at least two and possibly three hands to do, and I'm not gonna be able to show you it very easily, so I'm gonna cut to a photograph and talk to you about what you need to do. So let's go to that now. So as you can see here, here is a picture of the inside of the gimbal plate and there are some gold contacts. Now depending on your gimbal version you may need to remove a little cover, uh, um, covering material, a little peel back, uh, or they may just be exposed, it depends whether you've got the version 1 or the 1.1. But what you need to do is basically to reset the gimbal, you need to switch everything off. You then need to short out the two highlighted pads, the little gold contacts. If you use a pair of tweezers, that's ideal because you can do it one-handed. If you have a glamorous assistant to help you with this procedure, then you could use a length of wire. Using two hands, you could hold it against both pads. What you need to do then is just holding onto the gimbal is power up the Phantom and as soon as you see that little LED on the side there, go red and yellow together, so pretty much an orange colour, um, but two separate little LEDs there, immediately remove, the, remove whatever you're using to short out those two jumpers. That should have then reset. You can then plug in the assistant and you'll be able to re-upload the firmware that you just had. So, um, I hope that doesn't happen to you but if it does you could use that you could also try and use this reset procedure if your gimbal's just generally gone a bit astray a bit nuts um, if it doesn't solve the problem then it may be uh, something more fundamental and you're going to have to get it into the service center and get it repaired by DJI but uh, in terms of if, if, if it sorts out a small percentage of there's a small percentage of the gimbals that have the problem, but if I can help a small percentage of those with problems avoid having to uh, you know, send their gimbals off uh, for a long period of time, then, uh, then hopefully that's been worth it. So there we go, just a little quick, uh, a quick tip on how to reset, factory reset your H3 3D. Um, I hope you don't have to use it, but if you do, give it a go. Many thanks, and I'll see you again soon here on the kitchen table. Cheers.